one of the two or three richest men in the world. He's the founder. What's that little company he owns? Anyone? Amazon. Anyone? Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Yeah, okay. So Jeff Bezos is now engaged to his five-year-long girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez. Pull up this article real quick. So you talk about not learning from history. This motherfucker better learn. I better learn real quick. Because his last relationship ended. Uh, there he is, engaged right there to Lauren Sanchez after uh, five years ago. This woman is a predator, I guarantee you. Next story, by the way, if you could pull that up. <laughs> she looks like a predator. She looks like a predator. <laughs> by the way, this is after he was married to his first wife, Mackenzie Scott Bezos. Did, and when they got divorced, anyone want to guess how, many, how much money she got? A lot. Not one billion. Like not five billion. billion. Not ten billion. Thirty-eight billion dollars. So when you ask someone like MLD, well, why do men not want to get married these days? When you're talking guys like that, or even if you're a multimillionaire, even if you're a successful guy like me, it's like, dude, I can pluck out, and I mean this respectfully, because I would marry out of love, any beautiful, amazing girl that I meet out there, awesome. Come on my team, come on my train, get on level with me, and I bring you into my world, and we, we're living the best life, whether it's millions or billions, and all of a sudden you walk away with $38 billion every or $3.8 million. <laughs> this is a concern. You guys, you're mimicking it, you're laughing at it, but you're not listening. You got two ears and one mouth for a reason. Listen to what guys are worried about. Yeah. They're worried but that they're going to... also, not every girl takes half. True. Yeah, True. I don't even get child support. But, that's, that's but 80% a... of the time, women file for divorce. Am I wrong? 78. If yeah. Men, 78. If, wait, wait. If men, yeah. didn't have, if men didn't have anything to lose, they would be filing for divorce just as much as women. That's not. I hate that statistic because I understand mm. that women are filing for divorces. But if men had nothing to lose, they would be filing for divorces also. Let's be mm. fair about that. Ooh. What do you mean nothing? And Jeff Bezos is. is getting married again. That's so my point. So feels so bad. Because uh, here's the again. thing. Like, if yeah, he do you, wants- so what do you think? If you're Jeff Bezos, uh, number one, how ironclad is that prenup, in your opinion? I think that that shuts you up. Because you said men don't want to get married because women are taking half. The lady took <laughs> billions, and he's still getting married again. So yeah, what? that's why he's a but fucking it, idiot. It's a bad move on his decision. It's a it's horrible a bad move. move. But he's a billionaire, and he's super smart, so... There's no but reason. Maybe moving to Thailand. But maybe he wants love over money. Yeah. You can yeah. still yeah. have love. He doesn't love care about exactly. money. He just getting wants love. Getting $38 billion. Dollars yeah, you're losing that money. So Natalia. Yeah, Natalia's in the chat out there. Natalia, <laughs> please do a poll. Weigh in at any point. Was this a smart move or a dumb move by Jeff Bezos? Where he already got taken to the He's cleaners for $38 billion. It's dollars over for him. To get, to, to get uh, married again. Engaged again. He's going to end up on Skid Row. <laughs> this listen but I think, you, you, I think that's the problem we are regular people looking at this man's pocket we don't know what this man like i think it's fair to say like obviously money doesn't mean like once you get to that status you're desensitized i mean the, the guy has he's a visionary he sees things at a distance he invests this thing for a really long time he's obviously willing to take a loss and he's not there for them he's there yeah, for love he, believe me he, nobody wants to take a 38 billion dollar loss i believe you were here on the last episode that we did when we talked about the top d- 10 divorces of all time uh-huh. it was all men getting taken to the cleaners by their wife for billions. We had to go through dozens and dozens and dozens of names to find two people where women had to pay the men. One was Roseanne Barr when she married Tom, Tom Arnold. Arnold. Yeah. It's like, cause he was the only dude that was gonna ba- bang fat Roseanne. And then Madonna, who her, her ex-husband was a guy Richie mm. that ended up getting money from her. Yep. But to say that it's on the same level where the women have the same concern as what men are concerned with would be unfactual at best. Yeah. Well, isn't this crazy? I usually date, not date down, but I go for like the normal, regular guy. Stop your it, Your best Aileen. friend. Yes. Your best friend was not a normal, regular guy. Never no. gave me a penny. I paid for my own flights. Because he knows how to operate. No, I gave that man a prenup. I gave him a signed, and I'm sitting here, this is yeah. your best friend, I gave him a signed paper from Jimmy a Butler. attorney, no, not Jimmy, <laughs> I gave him a signed paper from an attorney saying that I was with him because I loved him, and not because I wanted anything, and that if anything in the future happened between us, whether I got pregnant or whatever, that I was never, ever, ever going to be able to touch his money no matter what. I believe, and I respect the hell out of that. Mm-hmm. And by the way, number one, this is the first time I've heard this, I didn't know this, it's not like yeah. I'm all up in your mix. <laughs> Thank you. I, I know who you're obviously talking about. One of my best friends. Yeah. I mean, we won't name names, but obviously. he's six nine. Mm-hmm. He he can dribble a ball pretty good. Yeah. That's enough. He's a multimillionaire. That's enough. That's yeah. Enough. Exactly. <laughs> so the point is this: that guy, if you didn't do that, do you know how many people in his life would have said, uh, before you get married, to 
beautiful Nailene, who happens to be an OnlyFans model, by the mm -hmm. way. Uh, you got prenup, right, dog? No, nah, bro, I love her. I would never get a prenup. Uh, step into my office, motherfucker, because you're fired. <laughs> okay, you're getting a prenup because. That is a that is a rightful concern that he should have. That's why but he's he worth was never tens concerned of millions about it. of dollars. He was never concerned about it. I did it out of good faith to show him that I'm here because I want number, you. I don't care about anything else. I want you. So he wasn't this concerned is just about what know. though. He never mentioned a prenup or money or anything like that. Okay, I'm but even if he didn't mention it, believe me, his inner circle. Oh, I know the inner best circle friends, has said something. But, accountants, attorneys. But that's why would have been like, uh, yeah, you're getting the prenup, homie. Saws, but that's why yes. I said. Of course, people are going to look at me and think that, oh, she's with him because of this and this and that. But I wanted to shut people up and just make sure that he knew. I didn't care about any, what anyone else thought. I but respect as long that. as he knew that I was with him because of him and not because of anything that he had, like, I wanted to give that to him so he knew. Okay, like, number one, I love you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. But the reality is you guys ended up breaking up. Yeah. Okay. So the point is this. <laughs> you guys loved each other. You were willing to do a prenup. Lo and behold, you know shell shock guys mm -hmm. most relationships don't work why do they call it the one right yeah most people date a dozen people in their lifetime and they marry one meaning there's a 90 percent chance the relationship's not going to work so you kind of got to play to use a basketball analogy you can go on offense yeah. you find the girl you bet you, you know hit some shots we also got to play defense put some insurance in place get a prenup that's all i'm basically saying here yeah. so for I a guy like for a guy like jeff bezos right here who lost thirty-eight billion dollars? That's where I was like, going. To get she married again, it's like billion, whatever. Yeah, 